We're going to forge a copper twir, which is what I use for both my smelting and my forging. We're starting with a piece of electrolytic pitch copper, you know, just a run-of-the-mill rolled copper plate, 3 8 by 4 inches by 12. And we're going to forge it into this trapezoidal shape, 14 inches long, which it needs to be that long in order to conduct away enough heat to keep it from melting. And about four and a quarter or four and three eighths, somewhere in there for the narrow ends, somewhere around seven and a half inches for the wide end. We want to forge this copper at a low orange or a bright red heat on down to a black heat. Don't let it get too bright orange or it'll break apart on you. So now at the narrower end, we still have a thickness of 3 8 or 5 16 And at the wide end, we've hammered it down to approximately an eighth of an inch. And this is nice that it's getting thinner and wider towards the back because that means our surface area uh, is increasing in, in relation to the volume. So it will shed the heat better. Now when we roll this up into a tube, it's helpful to forge the outside edges first and then forge the inside because it's hard to get back to the outside edges after we roll it up. So there we go, our thickness is still uh, approximately 3 eighths of an inch at the narrow end, and we've got a nice thin heat shedding eighth inch at the wide end.